So how much trouble is Brady in on Sunday? I think he's in a lot of trouble. And now let me say this about the New Orleans Saints. Last week against Atlanta wasn't necessarily their best defensive game. This wasn't mm -hmm. the dominance we've seen for them from the last few years, but it was also a difficult offense to defend because of Marcus Mariota at quarterback. I mean, they were running dang dive option with Marcus Mariota and Cordero Patterson last week. You're not going to see that from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They're a more straightforward run team with Leonard Fournette and Rashad White, the rookie from Arizona State, and also a team that um, needs to go to the play action, but now you don't have the offensive lineman to protect Tom Brady. And so I think when you look at the way the New Orleans Saints have played defense throughout the years, the way that they've pressured Tom Brady and also held up and disrupted the wide receivers at the line of scrimmage, they are put together perfectly to defend him. And we've seen that to the tune of 4-0 in the regular season the last two years. And I believe that this year could be the most pressure that Tom Brady is under from the New Orleans Saints. And if you're him, you have to be scared and you need to to at least kind of feel like Timon and Pumbaa felt when, when, when Simba brought him back to Pride Rock. Like, I came back for this? We're going to fight Scar for this? That ain't cool. <laughs> okay, we got Lion King references. Every now and again, we get a, a, a pop culture reference that I'm familiar with, so I'm delighted with that. Uh, what, give me a reason to believe here. I, I, you know, believe what? Brady and the Bucks. So they can oh, go in no. there and win it. I can't find a no, reason. I don't have one. You don't no, have I think one? they're going to lose. Yeah, no, I mean, the Saints, the Saints owned it. There was the playoff win, right? Right. That, that, that was it. But Breeze threw three picks in that game. Right. Brady had a, a big first half converting third downs, and the defense took over. But they, that roster was in a lot better shape than this one. You talk about the wide receivers that haven't practiced. How about the left tackle? Donovan Smith went out of that Cowboy game with an elbow injury. He hasn't practiced yet this week. He might play, but my understanding is even if he does, he's going to be in a lot of pain. So how does he manage his way through the game? How well does he play? There are a lot of issues facing this Buccaneers team, not the least of which is a team lining up across them that knows for a fact it can beat them. All right, doesn't sound to me. You know what? Let's As we take a look at that injury list that Brooke alluded to, doesn't sound like we got a whole lot of support for the Buccaneers. But we have a new game that we're playing on Fridays. It's called Cindy. Put the picks on the screen. I, we don't know where. The, <laughs> okay, we got to. 50-50. Uh, well, you know Nick Nico Nick is no Brady. surprise. Come on. Hey, Nico is no I'm surprise. Not, I'm not home. Okay, how does he do it? You tell me. How is Brady going to win this game against that defense with all the problems he has? First of all, RC, come on. He ain't scared. You ain't scared on the football field. You weren't scared. RC, RC is scared. scared. I'm not scared. Brady may not be scared. Brady's not scared. He's not scared. Listen, he Nico. understands. You ain't never what? scared. I ain't scared. You, you were never scared? I, Man, no. she I was, the only time I got scared of Adrian Peterson, I was scared. My, my first, <laughs> my first, the only time I was scared, I might have had a tear running down my cheek, was I had my first kickoff after I blew my knee out. I was a little scared. After that, I was, I'm not scared. I had to be a tough guy. Anyway, so let me get back to Tom Brady. Get the ball out of your hand quick. Yeah. Run the football, number one. I understand the offensive line is banged up, but you can't hold on to the football because the way that the Saints pressure you, especially in the Dome, they're playing in a hostile environment. It's going to be super loud. The Saints feast in the Dome when it's loud and you're on a silent cadence. Your get-off is key. So they're going to have to, number one, run the football. That slows down the defense. And also use that aggression to your advantage. Slip screens. Get the ball out quick. Screen game. So I think Fournette, number one, is going to have to have a huge game. He's going to have to be the number one target. He's going to have to run the football. They're going to have to run the screen game and get the defense tired. Use that aggression. And Tom Brady ain't scared. Come Brooke on Bryan. now. Fournette's back up too. As, Brooke, as we get more and more Fine. comfortable having you in here, I, I feel like I need to ask you a question. You just gave me like 12 yeah. reasons why the Buccaneers have no chance on Sunday, and then your pick comes up on the screen and you're taking them. How yeah. do we explain that? Because here's the thing. Tom Brady defies all logic. Have you seen his job? Line as he's gotten older, that defies <laughs> all logic. Get him a burger. I think Tom Brady in New Orleans. Are you kidding me? He's feeding off Tofu of this burger. all week. We're like, oh, he can't win. They're a house of whores, all this stuff. Tom, no, Tom Brady, he's no coming ratter. out of New Orleans. Go ahead, RC. RC, finish it up. <laughs> hey, Brooke, Brooke is just trying to be the ultimate optimist right now when it comes to Tom Brady. But when you think about this team and the way that they played last week, not being able to co convert in the red zone, unable to protect Tom Brady to push the football down the field, this is the worst team to play the week after you play like that against the Dallas Cowboys. Dennis Allen, who's now the new head coach, will capitalize on these things. He understands how to attack not only the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and what Byron Leftwich does, 
But what Tom Brady does specifically with the way they play on the back end, I think that this game could actually get ugly for Tom Brady, especially with that rush up front and that banged up offensive line. We will see because there's one thing Brady is not. It's ugly.